Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming in. T is going to be joining me in just a second. She just got a phone call, so she will be here in just a moment. I'm going to play my trailer so that um, some people will get the notification. All right, I'll be right back. Hi, T. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. Hi, everybody. Hi. Thanks for coming in. I'm so glad T could join us. Um, let's just say a quick hello to everyone, T, all right? And then you give an update, and then I'm going to go over my list. I have a list of things that I want to cover. <laughs> Oh, right. God, that is becoming corporate on me. <laughs> I know, I'm not going corporate, you guys. I swear to you, I'm not. But there are some things that I have to address. Um, so, yeah, I'm in my shipping room. T's in her van. You're going to get boxes or something more to do your orders, right? Yeah. Let's, say, let's say hi. Hey, Christy. Christy in Iowa is here. Gail. Gail can't wait to come back to Florida, Gail, right? Oh, Gail. Yeah, it's like ridiculous up here. <laughs> I can't oh wait. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Mutton Ridge. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you for That's coming awesome. in. Greens Vintage and Veranda, she's so funny. When she came in the other night, I saw her as Veranda Fleas. And I'm like, wait, who's this imposter? <laughs> and then I'm like, how do you say that word? Fleas, 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 flies, flies. I couldn't say it. It's files. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Veranda. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Hey, Wendy. I'm not gonna Hi, try Wendy. to I'm not gonna try to attempt her last name. I did the other day and she was like Nudson. Nudson. Think of Hudson. Think of Hudson and then say Nudson. Nudson. I was like, where's T? I need help pronouncing this <laughs> name. I couldn't pronounce it. So she sent me a message and the word it made me chuckle because something about numb son or something like that. She was like trying to teach me how to say it. But welcome in, Wendy. Don't ask you to say fragrance. That's all I got. Oh say. no, yeah, I can't say that part either. Hi, Karen. Clearwater Hi, Clearwater. Vintage memories. Getting new, getting new windows installed. Hope to be able to listen in. Awesome. Oh, thanks, Robin. Hey, Mama. Good morning, Hi, honey. Mama. John Jones, where have you been? Wait a Hi, minute. John. Why am I the only one wearing swim trunks? <laughs> I wish I had men's swim trunks too, trust me. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. 
There's Pat D's John wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Patrick. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. And so for those of you that are strolling in, uh, first and most importantly is an update from T. Hi, Gail, honey. Hi, Gail. Yes. Yeah, so uh, good news. I uh, can pick Robbie up around 2 p.m. Eastern today. So that's good news for me. Ooh. Awesome. And um, his uh, hemoglobin is still low. It's 8.9, um, which well, I guess we'll have to, we're That's probably going to be here. What? That's not terrible. Well, men's hemoglobin, um, from what I understand, should be around 13 or higher. Um, so it's still low, but it's, I guess it's on the higher low side. It's not the five or the 3.9 or whatever the heck he was when, before they gave him four units of blood. Um so that's the good news. Um, the bad news is that nobody's package is leaving the house today. <laughs> I'm driving my father by a fatty. Anyway, um, but a lot of people, I saw Deborah Halcombe. She's boxed and ready to go. Um, Wendy is boxed and ready to go. Um, Gail, not, not so much yet, but Gail, Gail, you'll, you'll be patient, I know, with me. Um, so, um, I'm trying to get the small, you know, the small orders done first and then move up gradually, um, into the bigger orders. I think I'm going to, I was going to go live last night, guys, and I apologize that I didn't. I'm just so overwhelmed. And then I thought about it and I said, well, I know I'm going to have leftovers, but let me finish the boxes first. Not to mention I was exhausted. <laughs> Not to mention this whole thing has been exhausting and draining. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I'm definitely going to have some left over. And if I don't have to bring it back to South Carolina, maybe towards the end of the week, we'll, I'll go. I'll come on with Donna or Donna and I'll go on my channel. I wanted to go on my channel because Donna usually goes live Sunday nights. And I figured, well, let's do it on my channel because I haven't gone live that much. In fact, I probably should have had you do it here. But you sold the swimsuits and that was more important that you talk about that. Right. Um, but you may just even see a quick pop up. You know, just for me to kind of maybe even on the way home from the hospital, just so I can go live on my channel. Because, you know, sometimes when you break up that you don't go live or you don't go on, it's not a good thing either. It hurts your channel. And I haven't really gone on much. So yeah, that was I the other reason. I was explaining that to them last night, which is why you put the um, the stream up on your channel. Because when you don't do, when you don't upload videos or if you don't go live, it kind of hurts your algorithm a little bit on your YouTube channel. And um, like I was saying to you guys yesterday. So yeah, so expect some sort of update, more update or, or um, um, something from T. Even if you do like a buy it now, T, like put together some some stuff that you can do like a buy it now really quick you know of stuff that you've got and you know release a quick buy it now video at least it's content you know for the channel so yes. you know you might be able to do it that way um Let having me something in the chat christy s that's the second time i've i've gotten a message from you no worries did you order a toy box because i don't have one for you i mean if you want one it just let me know and i'll invoice you but um, I didn't think I, I don't have you on my list, honey. So just if, if anybody does, um, still want one because I am going to have stuff left over, just send me an email and, um, and let me know. All right. Okay. So now my turn. Yes. My list. It's pretty big. All right. So here's the thing, you guys, I, I spent this morning, I was, I was talking to T and then a Courtney from Bolo Buddies called me and I said, T, let me take this call from Courtney, see what's going on. And then I called T an hour and a half later and she's like, have you been talking to Courtney this whole time? <laughs> I said, no, I've been answering emails and text messages this whole time. So I told her, I said, I'm going to put up a stream and just kind of address everybody at once, at least so that way it is out there. And um, you guys know for sure, this is the update. Okay. Number one on the list. Um, a lot of you guys, and I love you all immensely, immensely. I want you to know that, um, have been asking for kind of like special favors and asking for all one size bathing suits. 
I cannot do that. Um, there is no way that I can do that. Um, a lot of you are asking for plus size bathing suits, and I'm I'm so sorry. I wish I could. I wish they were all plus sizes. But if you watched yesterday's video of us removing the tags, we've already invested forty hours into prepping these bathing suits. And I'm, I'm not even there yet. I was saying to T, I wish yesterday when I had all that help here that we were separating the tops with the bottoms, but we didn't. Um, you saw out of every hundred bathing suits, I would find one plus size. So while supplies last, what I'm going to be doing is putting one or two pieces of plus sizes per 50 bathing suits. And I'm sorry, that's the inventory that I have. And that's the best that I can do. Um, now, when I say pieces, that brings me uh, to another topic. These are and this uh, was brought up yesterday in the chat. These are pieces of bathing suits. So please, I hope when you are giving me an order of 50 bathing suits, you're not mm -hmm. 50 sets or tops and bottoms that will create these are by the piece folks these are you saw them i held them up that's one bottom one top so for my 50 plus pieces which is really like i'm doing extras um in all of the orders um i am going to be doing for 50 pieces you'll get 25 bottoms 25 tops and then you'll get a couple of plus sizes and then some extras and the extras are because number one i love you and i want to share the wealth but also in case you um which is another thing on my list and i might as well address it right now in case we missed a taking off a little tag or if there's one that may have you know, a little imperfection or a little piece of, um, you know, a little dirt mark. These are all brand new with tags, so they should not um, have any dirt. Any ones that I saw that was like missing a clip for the front or any tag, any spots on it, I discarded yesterday. So, um, so okay, yes, Sharon, thank you. Okay, so that's my number one. That's my number one thing on the list. Tops and bottoms, I addressed. You're gonna, I'm gonna try really hard to send you 25 bottoms, 25 tops. You guys match them up. Um, hopefully, you'll get matches. It would be a tremendous undertaking for me. I have 10,000 bathing suits here to try to send you matches and try to match them by size. Oh my God, no! Like for days, I would be looking for a black and white polka dot medium to match a black and white polka dot bottom. I can't do it that way. I'm, I'm selling these at like really inexpensive prices. So you kind of get what you get and you have no regret. Okay. Emails and text messages. You guys try, please. I'm begging you to be clear in your emails and text messages. There was a couple of people I was text messaging back and forth that I would say, no, I can't fill all in size large. If you'd like to cancel the order, please let me know. And the response I would get would be like, okay, no problem, or okay, no worries, or okay. And to me, now I've got to text you back and say, all right, does okay mean you want the order? Does no problem mean you still want the order or no problem, you don't want the order. So please try to be as clear as you can with your text messages and your emails because I can't keep going back and forth with emails. You guys, if you saw how many emails I got for these bathing suits, it is a tremendous amount of emails. And I I haven't even I I haven't even started filling my orders yet. It's almost 11 o'clock and I haven't even like printed one shipping label yet because I've been addressing all this back office stuff. Um, I am going to uh, work very hard to, uh, I'm going to go down the list. And it's going to be uh, first come, first serve on the bathing suits. Um, I did get a lot of back orders uh, via 
uh, emails and text messages. For those of you that did send me emails or text messages, please be sure that you are registered because I did look uh, for one person who sent me an email that she wanted 100 bathing suits. I went to look for the registration. There was no registration, so I sent her the link to the registration. So you must be registered, please. You must fill out a registration form in order to um done as auctions you get what you get and you have no regret remember that remember uh, that? Hi. you have a comment in the chat here by dion is that the person who might not be registered no okay hi dion <laughs> okay dion Thank you. Actually, that brings me to my next subject. Since I have so many emails in my email box, if I have invoiced you and you have not received a tracking number, that goes for uh, plush lots or bathing suits or anything else for that matter, please send me an email to auctionsbydonna at yahoo.com. Um, it's my email is listed down below. I want to make sure anybody who paid for something that those orders go out first. Um, I have not invoiced anyone recently for bathing suits. That will all be done between today and tomorrow. Um, okay, sizes, tops, and bottoms. These are pieces. I can't stress that enough. Um, emails and text messages. I covered security tags and damage. I covered that. Um, registrations. I covered that. Um, cottage cash. Um, okay, Christy, thank you. So, um, cottage cash. I, when I, uh, sold the cottage cash the other night, I said that you could apply the cottage cash to anything that you bought that evening or in the future, um, or anything that was sitting on the shelf here in my shipping room. All of those will be applied to your cottage cash. However, if you have an outstanding invoice for me that I sent you prior to selling the cottage cash, you must satisfy that invoice. Your cottage cash will not be applied to any outstanding invoices. And I have a bunch of outstanding invoices. I looked this morning. And so please, everyone, um, satisfy your outstanding invoices and then your cottage cash will be applied to anything else that's sitting here on the shelf or anything you, you uh, purchase in the future. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, T? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it makes sense. All right. Hello, Donna. I paid last week and never got a tracking. I sent multiple emails but didn't hear back. Foxy, I responded to your email last week and I responded to your email this morning. Um, please check your spam box. And I said to you in the email, I responded to you and I responded this morning. Um, I think I may have invoiced you either, I don't know, Thursday or Friday, and I did not do any shipping this weekend because I am inundated with all this inventory. So um, I will make sure since you have paid your invoice that your order goes out today. Um, you'll be at the top of the list. But I did respond. I responded to your email and it's on the same thread. So I don't know why you're not seeing it, sweetheart. Um, okay. Cottage cash invoices pending. Um, I covered that. Um, please resend an email if you haven't gotten a tracking and you're paid. That was my last thing on my list. Um, Foxy. Oh, absolutely. Foxy, I, I, I don't know. I, I responded to your email last week and I responded this morning. I don't know why you're not getting it's on the same. I'm not sending you a different email. I'm responding to your email that you're sending me. So I don't know why you're not receiving the email. Um, and that's it, you guys. If like like Foxy, if you've paid for something, you're going to take priority. I don't have, um, I don't have very many um, invoices. Yeah, I never got it. How is that possible that she's sending me an email? I'm responding to her email, and she's never and she's not getting it. I don't know. That shouldn't be. I don't. I'm not sure to be honest. But I'll check again. Thank you so much. I even added my phone number to the, my response to you this morning and asked you to please um, 
send me a text message saying that you did receive it. I'm going to put my phone number here once again. Um, for those of you that don't have my phone number, feel free to text me. And when you do text me, let me know if you want to be added to my list of when I go live that I send out uh, notifications. I did get um, someone that said, no, do not text me yesterday. So make sure that you let me know um, if you're new. And um, hi, Jill. Good morning. Hey, Jill. Clearwater, no, I'm not sure yet, honey. Um, you know, I've been a one man show this whole time, you know, usually Robbie's a great help with shipping and, um, you know, between that and going back and forth to the hospital and getting, you know, all the toys stuff. I really don't know if it'll happen before the weekend, quite honestly, we'll have to play it by ear, um, and see what happens. So, yeah, but thanks for asking. What's with the lighting? Hmm? What's with the lighting? <laughs> What's with the what? Lighting. Are you playing with the lights? No, why? What's wrong with my lights? Oh, I don't know. It seemed like it got lighter and darker. Oh, I just was looking. Um, I just went into my email to see if I got a response from Foxy, and I didn't. Oh, hey, um, Anamara. Hi, honey. Uh, Jim, Jim, he's doing better, honey. He's going to come home today. Um, I'm supposed to go pick him up around 2 p.m. Eastern. I'm um, just running for some more boxes uh, right now. Going to get those home. And um, I didn't hear how is Robbie doing. I am sure he she meant Robbie. <laughs> and it is B-B-I-E. Thank you, Jill. Some people write it the other way. He hates two things. He hates the word Bob. And he hates the word Robbie with a Y. <laughs> so, um but thanks, everybody, for asking. Thanks for your concern. Um, you know, and then we're going to follow up. He can't wait to get to the foot doctor tomorrow because we had to postpone. That was a Friday appointment. They're going to see him tomorrow at 1. And then he's going to follow up with the heart group probably Wednesday and then probably the electrophysiologist Thursday or Friday. So we're here for the week at least. Uh, you'll probably go home on the weekend. Hopefully. Oh, lots of things, Jill. <laughs> lots of things, Jill. Oh, my God. They couldn't do any more. So I think they finally came to the conclusion that it was the blood thinner that they took him off last week because he had to be on that post um, ablation for a couple of weeks. So I don't know they because he, they did not find any other internal bleeding, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's okay, Robin. I talk text too. And I always say at the end of my talk texting message, if this sounds crazy, it's because I'm talk texting. Cause sometimes I just don't have the time to do, 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 do. Um, oh, Robin's been worried. Awesome, Robin. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, Glad he's you. feeling better, Jill says. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you guys. So um, you need lots of rest. Well, you know what? I'm not going to be getting it in the next couple of days. That's for sure. Um, so my friend Betsy, I don't know if she's watching, but my friend Betsy, who I, I met um, years ago, you guys have seen her in the chat. She um, stayed in one of my um, townhomes when I used to own rental properties and did um, vacation rentals. Uh, she came down here to South Florida and we remained friends all these years. She's actually flying in tonight at 1130. Uh, she's a, uh, she's a airline um, attendant. Yeah. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Thank you. She's a flight attendant, so she can just go on standby. So she's actually flying into West Palm Beach. I'm picking her and she's bringing her five-year-old granddaughter with her um, for a quick overnight visit. She's going to stay here at the reseller cottage. Um, so I'm driving to uh, West Palm Beach Airport to pick them up tonight at 1130. Their flight comes in. And so um, she'll be here tomorrow, which will be nice. I haven't seen her in um, nine or 10 years, I think. Oh, God. Clearwater says today is National Napping Day. <laughs> oh I'm, uh, listen, I'm already ready for a nap after the morning I've had. I'm telling you, I am so ready for a nap. And um, 
and Camille is actually who is back from outer space. She's coming about two o'clock today. Um, she's lucky she only lives 45 minutes away. So she's actually coming and picking out her bathing suit and no special favors for Camille. Just so that you know, she also is buying a hundred bathing suits and she will get one or two, three or four, um, trying to do a, one or two pieces per 50. So um, she will only be getting the plus sizes as well. And whatever plus sizes I have left after I fill my orders, guys, I will bring to um, uh, auction and just take best offer on them. Some of them have crazy price tags on them, like, you know, $80, I was saying to T. So um, that's after she sends something to T. He's, yeah, he's going to get He's going to get two and I'm going to get two. No special privileges for me and T either. All right. Even though I own them, she's going to get two and I'm going to get two. That's all I'm sending you T is two pieces and two pieces might be just a bottom and a top because I didn't get very many one piece bathing suits in the 22s and 24 sizes. Um, I think there's. Okay. I think it's 20, 22, and 24. I think when um, those sizes get to be that big, um, they do them in two pieces. They don't do them in one piece. I don't know. At least Kohl's didn't do them in. Um, no, a lot of them do it like that. And that, you know, you know, even as skinny as I may have been in my lifetime, my top has always been bigger than my bottom most right. of the time. Right. So it's, it's nice that they come in two different pieces because, you know, Hi, Pamela. My have always been my double D's. <laughs> right? It is. Years ago, we were stuck buying medium. And then for those of us that have, you know, larger tops, John Jones, block your ears. Exactly. Um, I was the one walking around with a T-shirt on because I was hanging out at the top. Ex exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it's kind of like refreshing now that retail stores, um, you know, are doing, um, um, you know, the separates. My uh, my bottoms are always bigger than my top, right, Gail? So it's nice that they're yeah. doing the separate. Yeah. Pamela, I'm sorry that you missed the cottage cash, honey. I um I will do it again. I promise. Right now, I am maxed out with cottage cash, which brings me to my next subject. I think there's only about nine people that have not paid cottage cash. Um, I will be uh, canceling those invoices um immediately following the stream. Um. John Jones with the eyeballs. John Jones, those eyeballs are not allowed. No um, eyeballs in the chat. No dots and no eyeballs. <laughs> no eyeballs in the chat. The eyeballs bother that me. Bother Donna and the periods bother T. <laughs> yeah, the eyeballs freak me out a little bit. I don't know. I don't like the eyeballs. The eyeballs uh, freak me out. Okay. So with all that being said, oh, and I have 15, just to give you an update, I have 15 boxes. T, I looked at the pictures. So I'm buying comics sight unseen. I don't even know what's in them. I looked at the pictures and they all look like um, short boxes. I, I looked, I expanded the picture and there's a lot of long boxes. There's just a few. So I'm buying um, 15 boxes of comics. Um, I don't know what I'm buying. I'm buying them sight unseen. It's kind of like buying a mystery plush lot. I hope, you know, I get what I get and I have no regret. regret. Only I, I'm paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars for these. <laughs> Not $75 for a plush lot. So T also got... Um, some comics not and, a lot the box just the box yeah. oh just a box yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna be having a lot of comics coming and you guys know i bought all that silver too i just don't know when i can go live because i've got so much shipping to do the girls are coming uh the 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 preteens are coming um this afternoon um to help me divide up tops and bottoms so we can get um, you're going to be sick of bathing suits like you were sick of monkeys. Candace, I never got sick of my monkeys. I loved my monkeys. My monkey purchase was my most exciting favorite purchase I ever, ever got. And let me tell you something. I think once I fill these orders, I got so many orders. I don't know what's going to be left in 
and bathing suits. You know, I'll let you guys know, but we are putting them in bundles like this of, um, oops, sorry, Boston. Oh, update on Boston. No change. He's uh, basically the same. So they're, um, so these are like bundles of, um, these are already like, these are like, this is, you know, 60 pieces this is how they're being bundled up. This Karen, one. not real ones. Karen's like, you sold monkeys. Plush one, Karen. <laughs> 60 pieces. Donna, do you still have me down for 50 bathing suits? I hope so. Send me an email, Pamela. That would be the best thing. Um, yes, Cleawana. Are you excited over the toys you're seeing? Yes, she is. You sold monkeys, Karen. I bought 400 monkeys and one monkey, one paid for all 400 of them. That was before I did um, YouTube, auctions. YouTube. It was when I sold on eBay, but I did. And then I closed my eBay store down and I did, I did bring a lot of the leftover monkeys to auction. Remember mm -hmm. I was selling monkeys for, for a while there. It was an amazing it's project. Kind of like the belt debacle. <laughs> the belts. Oh my gosh, you guys, I bought an, uh, a pallet full of belts and I was selling belts and bows and bows remember the, oh, bow? yes, the bows yes yes where's susan stricker belts and bows her favorite <laughs> oh my gosh it was i was selling belts like 50 belts for like 25 dollars shipped i had so many belts it was a crazy purchase and then um and then there was the time that I bought, well, the pocketbooks. Oh my gosh, if you guys missed the pocketbooks, that was like such a super score. The pocketbooks. I still have some. I still, you know, pull one out here and there from time to time. But um, and the crafts. Oh my gosh, you guys. Donna buys, Donna buys pocketbooks and crafts and T buys toys. It is what it is. <laughs> toys and trucks and and uh T, what did you say you got a lot of in this lot? Die cast. Die cast. Die cast. Oh my God. Die cast forever. Bernadette says, um, good morning to all and glad to see the smile on your face, T, with all the challenges you're facing Thank this you. moment. Thank you, Bernadette. Yes. Thanks, Bernadette. I know. I know. She's had so much. And Junebug, um, I remember the belts and bows. Any yeah. belts and bows? <laughs> um, Junebug, I hope your daughter's doing okay. I, I think you talked to Junebug, didn't you? T? I did. I spoke to her yesterday. Yeah. So her daughter's home um, and she's scheduled for surgery um, on the 24th. So what is, what is it that um, is going on with her daughter? Uh, brain surgery. They're going to actually um, do brain surgery. What, what, what is, what happened? Um, it's, uh, it, I, I'm not really, I'm not, it's one of the organs of the body. I'm not, you know, a hundred percent sure on, but, um, I'm sure she can explain it in the chat. Um, Pamela T is selling toy lots, uh, mystery toy lots, 250 plus 25 shipping. Yeah. $250 a box to you tell them. Yes. Plus uh, $25 in shipping. It's an 18 by 18 and a half by 16 uh, per 250 from, for the most part, it depends. Like, you know, if there's a lot of big things in there, sometimes I have to split it into two boxes. If there's a lot of small things in there, it really depends. I'm just trying to make sure you guys at minimal double, if not triple your money. I mean, I'm going to make it well worth everybody's, um, you know, while uh, again, I don't know the value of everything and I'm hoping that my guesstimates are, are correct. It's so hard sometimes with mystery boxes, but I think, I think I'm doing good. I think I'm doing real good. Okay. And um, yes, Sharon, they were definitely a big score, honey. Definitely. Definitely. All right. So for those of you that um, we're going to get off here because I said, to yeah, I, I'm running my car here with, um, with the price of gas, I should have shut it off, but I, I really got to get to it the doesn't store. Burn, it back. doesn't burn a lot of fuel when you're just sitting idle, to be honest okay. with you. Yeah, you're good. So 
So for those of you um, that uh, came in, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. I told T just 10 minutes. It's been 34 minutes. If you're friends with other resellers, please tell them to come back and watch this video. I don't want any repercussions to my orders. I don't want people to be like, I only got, you know, tops and bottoms. They don't match, blah, blah, blah. You know, those kind of things. If you decide you want to cancel your order because you're not happy with what you heard today, please send me a message and I will cancel your order. I am going to um, get on it right now. I have four hours before the mailman comes. I'm going to try to get out as many orders. So if you're here and you ordered something, um, watch for the invoice. If you have cottage cash, watch for the invoice with the prices deducted. Send me an email, please. Um, if you paid for something and you haven't received it, um judy knight thank you Jufa. Thank you, Jufa. and jill that's such a hard question because you know what i mean it's a difference between putting 50 hundred dollar pieces in or 20 you know like i can you know some things are big you know there's, there's like a big uh star trek airport or spaceship but there could be a small red line that could be worth just as much so it's really hard to say how many pieces are in a box i'm sorry uh, just the value will be there that's that's basically what i can tell you i really can't tell you about the piece count because the size is so different on all of them thank you sharon thank you Judy, thank you. Yes, the only two people that I know off the top of my head, without looking at my, without looking at my order forms, is uh, Judy Knight and um, Foxy, that I have to um, send out. Pamela says, "Is it an eighteen-inch box?" Yeah, eighteen by eighteen by sixteen. Pamela, eleven, eleven. Hi, Denali. Oh, hi, Denali. He's with me, you guys. He's with me. June Bug, lots of prayers for you and your daughter and everything that your family is going through right now. And we are so excited that Robbie is coming home. And um, that's it, you guys. We are going to go at it. Donna, did you mention we would get an invoice today or tomorrow for plush lot as well as the bathing suit lots? Gail, um, I'm going to put the plush lots on the back burner right now. I need to get some of these bathing suits out of the reseller cottage. And once I have the bathing suit orders all filled because they have to ship separately anyways, then I'll tackle the plush lot orders um, because I have... Uh, um, I have all those comics coming and I, I need to make room. I mean, we're literally walking around like crabs in the store, in the store, in the cottage right now. It's just boxes piled up high. Um, all right, Gail. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Hi, Chris, honey. Hi, Christopher. Chatworth is in the house. Mr. I buy chit himself. <laughs> Christopher, the bathing suit's a little too small for you to wear in the cage. Is that why you haven't ordered any? <laughs> uh, let's see. Toy uh, T, I will check out the toys because that's mostly what I sell is die cast. I keep oh. setting. That is the one thing I can cater to. If I could cater to anything is I could do a whole box of die cast. <laughs> for sure. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Robin, if you want to give her an order, you can write it right in the chat here, or you can send her an email or a text message and let her know. Yes, correct. He says they don't fit them. <laughs> Junebug, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for mentioning Denali. Thank you, honey. It always means a lot to me when people do that. All right, we got to get to work. I know. I got to go, guys. We I love, love you guys. Thank you for everybody for thank your you. concerns. Thank you. Tell your friends if they're resellers to watch this, please. Um, so they know to what to expect and what they're getting. Okay. Share it out. Thank you guys. Love you. Bye guys. Bye.